Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Katie, it's great to have you here. If you're new, please feel free to like, comment and subscribe if you like what you see and want to see more from me. And if you're one of my new or returning subscribers, welcome, it's great to have you here. I have followed up on my threat it's not much of a threat really is it to go and buy Disney stuff but I mentioned during my video with the Donald Duck soap that there was another character that I had been interested in and I consequently bought it so I'm excited to open it with you today and let's get started Right, now I don't know where this lies in the soap timeline. Um, I'm assuming it's a similar age to Donald Duck. And in fact, actually I did find a bundle available after I'd bought each of the two that I have. Um, and it had, I'm pretty sure it had Donald, Bambi and Mickey and Goofy I think might have been the other one so I feel like this is probably also 1950s but if uh, subsequent research proves me wrong I will correct that in the details and the description of this video. Uh, where are we going now? How on earth does this box do up? Here we go. There we go. I found <laughs> it's, it's got a lot of packing tape on it which is brilliant um, means it's nice and safe in there but uh, yeah hard to tell okay so um, well packaged and uh, this came on uh, came from eBay again Pop that there. oh it smells nice again I can smell it through the bubble wrap okay Oh, there's a nice little note saying thank you for your winning bid hope you're happy with your purchase any problems please let me know Otherwise, leave me some feedback and I'll do the same for you. And don't forget to add me to your favourites if you haven't already. Oh, thank you. I will do that. Oh, OK. So the main a main difference with this one, other than it being a different character from Donald Duck, is that it came in its original box and the whole of the box because I have found the lid of the Donald Duck box available and I haven't yet bought it but I've been debating whether to do so or not um, or whether to just keep it in the original box that it was well the box that it was sent to me in as an order not which wasn't the original box but oh, <laughs> oh look at this Okay, none of the magic is lost just because this is the second one I've got. It's Bambi. I love Bambi merchandise. I The t-shirt I'm wearing today is technically a um, pyjama top from Primark that I've had for quite a long time, but I like it. And it says, if kisses were snowflakes, I'd send you a blizzard. How cute is that? It's just adorable. Oh my God. You can tell when I get really excited because my face just looks out of control. Um, <laughs> my smile gets like just really big. Um, oh look, okay, so it says Bambi made from super fine toilet soap by Cusons under special license from Walt Disney. And then on the bottom of this bit, it says made in Great Britain. So I can confirm that made in good Britain is made in Great Britain by Cusons, 84 Brook Street, Grosvenor Square, London, W1. Oh my goodness, I wonder if I've actually been along that road before. There's a very, very, very good chance that I have. Oh, look at it. Okay, so it's a little bit aged on the outside and the inside. It's wonderful. Okay, I was, I was trying to be careful showing you the box because I wasn't sure how protected this would be inside. And what I didn't want to do was tip the box up and it go bang against the lid and just break into 5,000 pieces. So, but uh, it is wrapped in um, kitchen paper, which is helpful. You see the shape? <gasps> 
honestly would never have believed I could get so excited about soap and old soap at that. But, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. So he's also, again, obviously he's quite big because you can see the size of the box now. And also you've seen Donald already. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'd say he possibly got a little bit wet or um, sticky, like warm on his journey because he actually has got some bits of um, kitchen paper attached up to his back. But um, yeah, I'm going to keep him on here because, well, actually, if I transfer him to the box lid, maybe I can show you a bit better. There we go. Let's hold that down. There we go. I feel like I've got a bit more control. He's cute. I don't know whether his, um, like, whether he was a bit textured originally or whether it's just kind of how the soap has aged over time. I think it's probably the latter. Um, but he's kind of got a bit of a furry sense to his appearance now. Um, but oh, he is, he's cute. I like him. Oh, and he's got the green base. So he's sitting down, he's got his little dappled back. I just, I mean, I can't believe that these sorts of things have lasted, you know, because they, they're designed as usable products. Rather, and in the 50s, especially, you would have expected that people were more about, you know, post-war era, like don't let anything go to waste, the whole make, do and mend. So the fact that these have lasted until 2023 and counting is just, I think, remarkable. And I really do think that there is something very special about that. Um, and the fact that this one has its original box as well. I mean, yeah, you know, so the surface isn't what it used to be. And so he's got a little chip missing from his ear. I don't care because he's here. And I mean, what are the odds of that really? I mean, I'm sure they made a load of these, but, um, the idea that they would survive for 70 odd years is just brilliant. So I think he's great. And I, yeah, I still haven't quite decided what my plan is in terms of, uh, him and Donald. I need to make sure that wherever I keep them is out of reach of sunlight because I really don't want them to accidentally melt. Happened to my dad once years ago with a, um, a chocolate devil that my mum bought him from Thornton's and he loved it but he put it on the windowsill in the living room and it melted and I shouldn't laugh but it made this little puddle of brown and red chocolate and I just remember him and my mum commenting on the thing that was um the most I mean they laughed their heads off about it fortunately but they they commented on how little chocolate there was actually in that figure it was so funny but such a shame at the same time. I know it's the sort of thing they could have easily kept forever. But yeah, look at that original box. That's just brilliant. So yeah, if you have any ideas for what to do with these, I'd be really interested to hear them because as I say, I don't know. And I don't know that I even have many ideas for them. I mean, by the time you've added this box and the box that Donald is in. That's quite a lot of space. I don't don't even know how she managed to wrap these so well. Okay. Carefully put the lid back on. That'll that'll do. I'll rewrap it properly later. But I just think that is absolutely brilliant. Okay, that does give me a sense actually of if I get the dis the Donald lid that I found, then it's quite shallow in comparison to the main part of the box. So actually it's not, I'm not going to be able to store him in it, but I could stand him up in it as like a little, well, if I do it as a display, you're not going to be able to see him, are you? Hmm. Okay. That may render that plan a bit useless. I'm still working on it. You see, this is the thing. As part of the fun of being a collector is figuring out what on earth you're going to do with your collection as you go and as it expands. But I just think that's wonderful. So 
Hats off to you, Cusons. You clearly did make a quality product for it to have lasted this long and also still smell nice. I can't get over that it, it does smell nice still. Um, and I just think it's great. So thank you for sharing that piece of history with me. And I hope you enjoyed it. It's an extra to our 1950s journey. I will move on in terms of different decades, but I did want to collect this first. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you've got any questions, let me know in the chat. Uh, tell me, you know, any of your collections. I always love to hear that as well. And to talk to you about what you, what you like about Disney. So feel free to add those as well. And uh, until next time. Take care and bye for now.